Okay. Okay. Sorry for this incident. Uh, I'm preparing uh, the publication of uh, the Rhodian amphora stems uh, found in Istros in a virtual collaboration with my uh, late friend uh, Nikolai Konovic, uh, who uh, lived us uh, many years ago in 2007. Uh, uh, Nikolai Konovic uh, worked uh, many years on the Rhodian amphora stems uh, and I inherited uh, his. Uh, 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 notes. Uh, I uh, continue uh, uh, this work uh, and now uh, you are able to uh, present, uh, I hope in a very short time, uh, a catalog uh, uh, comprising uh, uh, 680 items uh, uh, belonging to uh, 612 uh, types. Uh, for this meeting, I prepared uh, some considerations uh, uh, about uh, uh, the dynamics uh, of uh, Rhodian uh, importations uh, to Istros. Uh, I start by mentioning that uh, the first uh, period is uh, uh, not very well represented. For the period uh, 1A, for example, you have only one uh, sample. Above, uh, it is Epi Aristodamu, a Sinistroverse uh, legend. You have uh, some samples for the, the period uh, 1b, for example, here uh, Agrios or uh, uh, Epi Epiharmu uh, 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 below or uh, 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 Luis Andros, uh, uh, you have uh, uh, here an example, uh, Epi uh, Aristanactos uh, or uh, Hippocles. Uh, once again, for 1b, Epi Timarhu below and uh, Agestratos uh, above. Uh, later, in the same period, uh, above Isodotu and uh, uh, below Epiereus Ainesidamu, and so on. Uh, the first important uh, importation start uh, uh, during the period 3a. Uh, and uh, in order to uh, have a, a fine uh, quantitative approach, uh, I uh, uh, started by uh, reanalyze uh, the chronology of uh, Rhodian alpha stems of the periods uh, 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 2 and 3. First of all, some preliminary remarks. <coughs> you have as you know, this intercalary month, uh, Panamos Deuteros. And uh, some years ago, in 2015, in his uh, brilliant work, uh, Le Temps de Rot, Nathan Badou identified the rhythmus uh, of uh, uh, this uh, uh, so called embolismic years. You have also in Histros uh, some examples uh, of uh, stems uh, uh, mentioning uh, this intercalary mass, which is Panamos Deuteros. Here you have a sample of uh, Cleonimos uh, II, Epi Cleonimo, Deuteru Panamo. And uh, here a type uh, for which I didn't find any analogy. It's a type uh, which is not illustrated in Amphora Lex uh, or in the lexicon of uh, Rhodian dice. Uh, um, it is uh, once again a uh, series of inscriptions with the lunate uh, epsilon and uh, uh, sigma. I read here from uh, right to left Epi, Damonos, Panamu, Juteru. Uh, this mass also occurs on uh, fabricant stems. 
For example, here a uh, well-known type of Agoranax, Agoranactos panamu duteru. What is the importance of this uh, mass? Uh, Badu demonstrated uh, that uh, um, uh, the uh, rhythmus uh, was uh, given by sequences of eight years, so-called octaeterides, uh, where the first, the fourth, and the fifth year were embolismic. It means that they contain the intercalary mass uh, panamus deuteros. So, I add to the examples uh, collected by uh, Badu a sample from Isros. Unfortunately, this uh, sample is lost. It has been published in 19, uh, uh, 1957 by Kanarake under his number 684 where I restore epi iereos or ep iereos Tudoru panamu duteru. It is true that uh, duteru uh, belongs to the restoration, but for reasons of symmetry, because you have here a second line which is very long, for reasons of symmetry, uh, I think that this uh, uh, restoration is certain. So you can add Tudoros to, uh, to uh, the uh, eponyms uh, uh, being in charge uh, under embolismic years. Under these conditions, it is very important to identify the eponyms of the embolismic years. Uh, I don't discuss the period 1a, for which you have only one sample. Uh, for the period 1b, I have nothing to add to the chronology established uh, in uh, 2001 uh, by uh, uh, Gerald Finkelstein. Uh, I only added uh, sometimes uh, the corrections brought by uh, Nathan Badou or uh, before uh, Nathan Badou by John Lund. Uh, finally, in 2017 by Thibaut Castelli. Starting with the period uh, 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 to uh, see, uh, you have uh, uh, to discuss uh, the uh, distribution of uh, embolismic years and their relations to the eponyms. Uh, you have a first example in 231. Callicrates is attested uh, uh, with uh, intercalary mouth panamos deuteros. Uh, uh, it is the same case for uh, Hagesippos or Timoclidas. Uh, according to Finkelstein, Hagesippos and Timoclidas uh, uh, were to be dated uh, uh, around 220, 221 for Hagesippos, 220 for Timoclidas. But the problem is that uh, except uh, Callicrates I, Hagesippos and Timoclidas, you have no other uh, eponym in this uh, period uh, uh, attested with the intercalary mass. So, my suggestion is to try to move some eponyms, uh, commonly dated uh, a little later, and to try to uh, 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 obtain a concordance with the uh, embolismic ears. This would be the case of Xenostratos and Xenophantos, dated by Finkelstein and by Badu about uh, 210. I suggest to move them about eight, nine years earlier in order to occupy these positions for 220 and 219. The point is that during this period, three eponyms with intercalary mass are lacking. And in the next period, 3a, you have three supplementary eponyms. So my suggestion is to uh, move them uh, in order to have uh, each time for uh, an embolismic year an eponym. 
So I moved uh, Harmocles, commonly dated about uh, 215, eight years earlier, in order to occupy the position of the embolismic year 223. I did the same with Harmosilas. Harmosilas was dated uh, uh, about uh, 207. Thibaut Castelli already suggested an earlier dating, about 211. I go uh, until 215 in order to have here a complete uh, uh, distribution of uh, eponyms uh, attested by intercalary mass, uh, with, uh, associated with the intercalary mass and the embolismic ears. Uh, later you have a very fine distribution of Clearhorse Pausanias, which also must be dated uh, earlier than uh, 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 in the system of uh, Finkelstein. Uh, Dorculidas, who could be moved from about 204 to 207 in order to uh, make place for Tarsipolis and as uh, uh, we already have seen, for Tudoros II, uh, II uh, uh, who is attested, as I already showed, with the intercalary mass. Uh, Theophanes II is firmly dated 299, as demonstrated by Badu. Uh, eight years earlier, you have another uh, the firmly dated uh, uh, eponym, uh, Aristonidas, uh, which is attested uh, by inscriptions. Uh, Christian Havish uh, demonstrated that it is sure uh, that uh, Aristonidas was eponym in 208. And so on. Uh, at the beginning of the second century, uh, you have no problem with this distribution. Uh, moreover, for Sodamos, Kratidas, Cleonimos, Ainesidamos too, Agemachos and Cleocrates one, the dating uh, perfectly corresponds with the um, uh, 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 classification uh, due to uh, Finkelstein and Badu. Uh, more other problems arose uh, later. Uh, in uh, 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 at the end of the, uh, the second I oh, know, uh, even uh, earlier. Uh, you have a case, uh, ah, here. Uh, about uh, 156. This is uh, an embolismic year. Uh, you have here only one candidate, Timurodos, which could be uh, uh, either in uh, 156 or in uh, 155. What about uh, the second eponym succeeding to uh, uh, Timurodos or preceding uh, him? You would have four candidates, Peragoras, Sosicles, Gorgon, if not, a so-called floating eponym number three. Uh, in my opinion, you can expect an attestation of the intercalary mass for one of them, and so you could complete the sequence here. It continues uh, like, uh, rather without problems until uh, the, the end of the second century. Uh, here, once again, you must expect from one of these eponyms, Agoranax, Apollonius, Aristonomos, Aristinomos, uh, uh, attestations with the intercalary mass in order to occupy uh, these positions 108 and 107. So, this would uh, be my corrections to the uh, chronology. Uh, globally presented uh, 20 years ago by uh, Gerald Finkelstein and uh, slightly uh, ameliorated uh, by John Lund, uh, Nathan Badou uh, and uh, Thibaut Casselli. Uh, 
this being the data, you would have this distribution of the Rhodian amphora stems in Istros. I divided by decades, uh, being able to uh, date uh, uh, rather uh, uh, good uh, uh, chronology of the eponyms, uh, I try to divide by decades and as you see, you have a peak uh, uh, at the beginning of the second century. Uh, the uh, uh, apogee uh, is in the period 190-181, so at the very beginning of the second century. And very high uh, ratios uh, are also attested uh, uh, until about 140. In order to compare, uh, this uh, uh, result uh, based on the chronology of the eponyms uh, with the chronology based uh, on the fabricants, I also tried to uh, present uh, the um, uh, ratio uh, between uh, 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 fabricants divided by periods. On this column you have the number of samples and uh, here uh, the periods divided by years. For the fabricants, I uh, suggest uh, a convention. Uh, as you know, many fabricants are not uh, very uh, good dated. They belong to different periods. One of them is uh, periods 2, 3. Another one, period 3, 4. Even 3, 4, 5. So, in these cases, I uh, arbitrarily uh, uh, divided, if you have, for example, one sample for a fabricant uh, active uh, in two uh, successive periods, I uh, gave uh, uh, for each period the ratio uh, 0, 0,5. And you have this distribution. Once again, you can see that the period 3 is the uh, most represented. Uh, the first decades of the first century. Here, to left you have, on the column, to, uh, uh, at uh, left you have uh, the city, and uh, at right uh, the uh, total city and territory. Now, the next step would be a historical interpretation. But here, I must declare that I have no idea. If you can help me. I would be very grateful. I only can see that uh, the Rhodian importations become uh, to be uh, uh, very important in Estros. Uh, uh, it is very interesting to see that uh, they became important just after the Strait War in 220. Uh, but for these uh, inflections, for this uh, 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 data I collected here in this uh, representation, uh, I have no idea. Uh, of course, you know better the history of Rhodes, but you uh, know quite nothing about uh, the history of Istros in the second century. So it is very difficult to uh, make a relations. Uh, between uh, the, this uh, quantitative approach uh, uh, I present here and uh, uh, the historical events uh, uh, from the end of the 3rd century and uh, uh, from the 2nd century uh, BC. Thank you for your attention. And we thank you.